The difference between scan and copy is that scan has a single button for the entire process. Users can just push that button, point their camera at a document, and the app does the rest. If the user wants to add text, their options are limited. But with copy, they can add text boxes, signatures, and shapes to their document on their device. A standalone copier's primary function is to copy documents onto paper and in volume. It has a flat piece of glass or takes pieces of paper individually through feeders, records an image of the document, and prints duplicates of the document. Copiers output different sizes of paper, depending on the make and model. Likewise, some create color prints, while others deal only in black and white. Scanners work much like copiers taking images of documents that you place on a piece of glass or insert into a reader space. Scanners create digital versions of the images and store them on your computer. You control the input settings and select the resolution for the scans and can use the digital files for a variety of things, from viewing on your computer to emailing to coworkers. These days, there are so many different options for copying and scanning documents and images that choosing one can be mind-boggling. There is no definitive best option for everyone. Thankfully, small business owners can choose the features that are best for their applications by taking a good look at the differences between scanners and copiers. So many people conversationally lump copying and scanning together. Perhaps that's due in part to so many offices today having a multifunctional device, which negates the need for specifying the difference when you're asking someone to run over and scan me a copy or something. What's it matter, anyway? I mean, copy vs scan is an essential thing, right? Well, they might seem similar but you find rather quickly that understanding what the differences between devices and functions is a necessity when it's time to go shopping for a new one. This is especially true when you consider that just about every help article out there starts with something like, understand what you need as the first step to buying a new MFP. Does your office need to make physical copies, or do they need to scan in paper so they can add them to your office's document management or e-filing system? Maybe that results in looking at solo MFP versus an office MFP versus some individual scanners for your employees' desks. Photocopiers are pretty standard pieces of office equipment has been a mainstay in most offices since the late 1970s and early 1980s. But as digital technology improves and becomes increasingly more affordable, a paper-free piece of technology like a scanner can meet all of your document reproduction needs and replace your traditional copier. Copiers and scanners operate in similar ways, but how they output information is much different. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.